just got off the RER from the Garden Hall. I got Eurostar to Garden Hall today and I'm staying at Sejours and Affair. So I'm going to show you how you get there from the RER station. So here we go. So that's what the RER trains look like. And when you get off it, you'll just be on the platform like this. And it's obviously going to say Val Durand. Then we're just going to leave the station at the main exit to get to Sejours and Affairs. And go one more stop to Marne Valley Park Disneyland. Or you can get off at Val d'Europe or Val d'Europe as I did. And you follow this exit to the Centre Commercial Sortie. So you can get stairs or escalator out of the station. When you get to the top of the escalator, it looks like this at the main exit and entrance. And you just put your ticket in there to get out. We get to the end, we're going to just cross the road here. It's already green, so I don't know where that car went. And let's say you get to the shopping centre. And then to go to the Sejours and Affairs, we're just going to walk this way. You're going to pass the Hotel Les Elysees on your left and you're just going to follow this path on the right here, keeping the shopping centre on your right and that will lead you to Sejours and Affair. So just walking all the way, follow this pavement. When you get to the end of this pavement, it will be the Sejours and Affairs on the corner. When you get to the end of the path, you'll see that school crossing and a little nursery school over there and we're nearly at the Sejours and Affair. So here I am at the end of the path, the school's there. And as you can see, when you get right to the corner here, it says Sejour and Affair Apart Hotel, and that's where I'm staying. I'm coming around the corner because the front of the building's over here. Again, the same sign, Sejours and Affair. I have to go in those gates. Here we are, this is where you go in. Sejours and Affair, just go in those gates there looks like at the front you go get this metal fence and if you want to check in automatically because the check-in's not manned that's the machine you do it in but it's open so I'm coming to this door here and I'm gonna check in you can see this is a good name of a hotel for Disneyland Paris so I'm just coming in to reception. Okay, so I'm on the ground floor. I got room 20. So I'm going to go through here and find my room. The door is like this. And this looks like 20. So I'll just dump my bags and I'll give you a room tour. Okay, so let's do the room tour before I mess this place up. Entry type phone, temperature control, and just shutting my door. And as I come in, I've got a door off to the bathroom that way. This way I've got a little cabinet with a kettle and a coffee machine and something or other in here, just a cupboard. This is my tiny little kitchen. I've got a sink. I've got a cupboard. Whoops, sorry about that slam. I've got a fridge with a little freezer compartment. I've got a hob, washing up kit. I've got a microwave, standard microwave, and then I'm pretty sure this is just pots and pans in the cupboard and some plates and cups, things like that. And then as I leave the kitchen, this is the bedroom, it's got a separate door. The bedroom's got a lovely big, looks like a king size bed. This is a studio flat, um, so it sleeps up to two people. Got a TV. Like I said, a really big bed. It's quite warm in here. I actually think that radiator's on. Might have to switch that off because it's not cold. My view out of these windows, I'm actually on the ground floor, is I think the high school opposite me and the road. So, picture over the bed. I've got a table and chairs I can eat at. A welcome pack with some milk, tea and coffee, some water. And then I've got a little wardrobe here. The wardrobe's just got some shelving there and a safe. 
on the other side, the wardrobe's just got some hanging space and some shelves. So coming back down my little hallway, we'll have a look at the bathroom. Oh, some hooks there for hanging your coats. This is my little bathroom. Got the loo. I've got a sink with vanity. There I am. Oh, so hot in here. I've got some toiletries, soap, towels in here, spare loo rolls. That's about it. And then I have a shower, but not a bath. I knew that because I've stayed here before. So a sort of a power shower. Another radiator in here, a little shelf. That's the bathroom. So this room cost me 63 pounds, I think, per night. No, 60 pound a night. I paid 120 pounds for two nights. I'm going to be staying here, Friday night and Saturday night. So that's the room tour. I'm going to get unpacked and then I'm going to head to Disney. Time for the parks. So I'm checking out of the Sojours and Affairs. It's about eight o'clock Sunday morning. And in this hotel, there isn't always a man reception. Sometimes you have to use the machine outside. So, so in the Sojours and Affairs, this is the reception. It's not open right now because I'm filming this on a Sunday morning. This will tell you the usual check-ins from three, check-outs from 12, or you use the machine. In the reception area, they've got a sofa, a mirror, hello to me, a vending machine, get a few snacks, and a drinks machine. That's pretty much the reception area. Lifts to the other room, doors to the other room. And then in here, they serve breakfast. Weekdays seven to nine, Saturday and Sunday eight to ten. And that's a little look in the dining room. But I can't go in there because I haven't booked breakfast. But if you do, that's what breakfast's like. So I'm saying goodbye to the Sojours and Fairs Hotel. And this is the little area when you come out of the door, come in and out of this gate. And like I said, if the reception isn't open, you come to this machine and you type in your reservation and it will spit you out a room key. So that's the Sojours and Affairs. And now I'm going to the Isle. So I'm still in Maldor. I just walked to the RER station. It's 8 a.m., about 8.15. It's incredibly sunny. There's the RER station. That's the way back to the shopping centre and my hotel. At least when you stay in Val Rock, you feel like you've seen a bit of actual France, as opposed to the Disney bubble. So I'm just gonna go and get my train to the park.